Okie dokie guys, um, I've come to a new conclusion, uh, my Skyrim is still fine, it's not breaking, um, there's no black screen issue, um, I'm just trying to figure out what the actual problem is when it, when it does happen, and most people think it's mods, but I think it's more than that, um, because and I'm not very sure about this conclusion of mine because there's one person who upgraded from the special edition who doesn't have any mods and the vanilla game and he's he's playing no problem so I don't understand what's going on because there's comments in my previous video that's talking about people who have black screen issues with their vanilla game and they don't know what's going on and everything the only conclusion I can come to that might fix this problem is reinstalling the whole game completely, either on your console or on the PC version. So completely delete everything, including the INI file, especially the INI file, and um, delete your saves, forget about your saves, they're corrupt anyway. Once this bug happens, apparently it corrupts your saves. And um, reinstalling it and then adding one mod at a time. For the PC version, I would suggest exiting your Skyrim and then booting up another PC game that you have on your desktop or any like anything that initiates the any file of that other game. So if you um, if you have you know uh, Oblivion let's say Oblivion or Fallout on your desktop which most people will if they're into Skyrim then boot up that exit once you get to the menu of that game exit that menu exit the game and then boot up Skyrim again uh, and then so on and so forth for the console version it's the same sort of process you just uh, you reinstall the game you, um, this is what I did. This is what I did, and they fixed the issue. But I don't know if it was the reason for fixing the issue, so I don't know. But what I did was I reinstalled the game. I added one mod at a time, kept exiting out of the game and booting up another game. You, uh, I find that 360 ver games are the best. Exit the 360 game once it gets to the menu. Go into um, Skyrim and, and then test the game. The save worked, do another mods, it worked. I kept doing it with each mod, then added a bunch of mods that were the same as each other, still worked. I don't know what's going on, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm level 15 in Skyrim, and I don't, still there's no black screen issue. And I'm playing with, you know, undeath, heaps of scripts. You know, that, that's a mission quest. That should be a big no-no, but it's still working, so I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if, of course I'll let you know if, 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 it's, if I get the black screen issue again. But if I don't, well, I fix the issue, but hopefully it's reinstalling the game and adding one mod at a time. And I'd like to, I'd like somebody, if, if you have broken your Skyrim, and you can easily reinstall your game and you're thinking about doing my my uh, this video's guide uh, or guide whatever um, I don't really say it's a guide but uh, anyway if you if you've broken your game and you've got nothing to lose why don't you install Inigo unofficial patch alternative start maybe and Inigo and then see after reinstalling the game if Inigo actually works and there's no black screen. That might be an idea. Because this is so new. Lots of people who have this problem didn't have haven't have haven't had reinstalled their game because they usually they just upgraded like me, they just upgraded from the special edition. Oh no, I didn't upgrade. But anyway, after the update, they either have the update on their pre-existing installation and they have this problem. And the anniversary edition guys, they just they just got upgraded from their special edition onto the anniversary edition, and 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 yeah, they have this problem with even with a vanilla game. So obviously, 
this might have something to do with reinstalling the game and for some pre people it's sweet you don't have to reinstall the game but i think that this might be the case i'm having a feeling here and you know it's just a hunch it's like you know i'm not too sure about it but hopefully you know we've got to try everything here you know to fix this issue because the tester might actually not fix it even though it's breaking the vanilla game you know because they're Bethesda and they're notorious for not fixing their problems, like someone mentioned in a comment earlier on my other video. But anyway, hope you hope this video helps. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But yeah, sorry if it doesn't. But yeah, see you guys.